Good morning, how are you today? Paul Donnelly may have found his calling. Good puppy, hi baby. It's not the dog in this car, it's the food he's putting inside. There we go boss, uh, this is uh, feeding San Diego. Dozens of volunteers are here outside Pachanga Arena for people who simply need help. Have a great day. Help with their hatchback too. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Paul's got it. Whoa, I like her style. <laughs> it makes me feel good. A lot better about myself, build some self-esteem and some self-worth. Have a great day. And Paul is making them feel loved. The community's wonderful. Good morning, sir. Many of the people in line are active duty military. I'm kind of saddened that people have to come in America in a food line in this situation. I think most people assume that that would never happen to someone that's serving our country. Elise Frenabach is the chairwoman for the Veterans Village of San Diego, an organization that helps veterans overcome homelessness and addiction. You get the number, I got the chicken. Paul is one of her clients. Yeah, I'm a combat vet in Vietnam, Brown Water Navy, river boats. All these volunteers are veterans who at one time needed help too. All of our buddies, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, uh, we don't have no space guys yet, but... <laughs> it strengthens the ties of humanity. It's especially cool to see veterans helping other veterans and other active military. Sam Duke helped organize Thursday's Feeding San Diego event. This one's cool. It's uh, emotional for me. It's powerful. The power of seeing good people pay it forward. It makes me feel part of the community. Bye, babies. Joe Little, NBC7. Bye-bye. Eat the babies.